As you know, energy codes currently recognize variable air volume systems, or VAVs, as the most widely used commercial air conditioning systems in the United States. But with growing energy concerns and a need to manage outdoor ventilation air, there's a demand for a new, economical, and environmentally sound way to service large commercial spaces. For this reason, Southland Industries is moving to the next generation of air conditioning systems, the fan-powered induction unit. Fan-powered induction units, or FPIUs, redefine the modern approach to air conditioning systems. With VAVs, the air handling equipment is king. It's responsible for all dehumidification, air distribution, outdoor air control, primary air modulation, relief return air control, cooling capacity, and filtration. A jungle of ductwork expands across the ceiling, and if the serviced space is rearranged, the entire duct system suffers. FPIUs make zone terminals king. The central air handling unit's only task is to produce a consistent supply of filtered, dry ventilation air, which requires approximately 20% of the duct distribution as compared to a VAV system. The key is that each FPIU has its own sensible chilled water cooling coil that modulates to space conditions and can operate independently from the main air handler for sensible loads, giving each zone the ability to adjust to various needs. Most importantly, the bulk of the air conditioning capacity can now be carried through small chilled water piping instead of ductwork, reducing infrastructure space requirements by a factor of four. In addition, FPIUs can be installed in a consistent grid pattern throughout a facility, so that typical office modifications require no physical equipment changes. The FPIU's operational concept is similar to the old Carrier Weathermaster induction systems that were in common use up until the 1970s. The difference is that the FPIU system uses modern components, starting with a typical series fan-powered unit that includes an inlet control damper and an airflow ring. Additions include a sensible cooling coil, optional heating coil, face loading filter for ease of removal, and bottom access panels. FPIUs not only condition individual spaces, they trend zone conditions and outdoor air rates to avoid issues with indoor air quality. However, FPIUs have many more benefits over VAV systems. On a humid day, the VAV system may deliver a damp or clammy feel to each zone. This is typically resolved by dehumidifying the airstream, resulting in extra energy costs. In contrast, FPIUs respond quickly to varying temperature and humidity. Zones can receive more or less primary air to help dehumidify or pressurize specific areas. Some designers supplement VAV systems with water source heat pumps or house risers, whereas this infrastructure is already provided as a part of the FPIU system. Return air is recirculated within the zone through the ceiling plenum. This eliminates the need for central return air ductwork since resulting relief air is a fraction of the total airflow. FPIU systems also have a cooling coil and a fan in each individual unit. Outdoor air quantities are modulated in response to local occupancy or CO2 sensors, resulting in less wasted reheat or overpressurization. As an added feature, the associated sensible chilled water loop can service cooling needs throughout the facility, so infrastructure upgrades are rarely needed. Another disadvantage of VAVs is that they deliver outdoor air as a percentage of circulated air. As a result, a mixed air calculation is required to confirm proper ventilation rates. FPIUs meter outdoor air directly to each zone so that the required ventilation air quality can be easily documented and controlled, resulting in substantial energy savings. Because of the flexibility FPIUs give a building and the long-term economic and energy savings, thousands of users are experiencing the benefits of an FPIU system. To help support the system's continued operation, let's turn our attention over to David Peters and take a look at the design parameters of an FPIU system. Mr. Peters is a mechanical engineer with over 54 years of experience who assisted in the development of the modern-day fan-powered induction unit concept. 